what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so i'm going to try to make this as quick as i can because i am planning to do something that relates to a surprise video that i have dropping in the morning but this is going to be a video us talking about nightmare on elm street again nightmare on elm street as you see in the title might be in development on a reboot remake or something over at warner brothers discovery now this is because of a document one of you decided to tag me in on twitter i am not going to repeat your name you know who you are the name isn't user friendly for this platform i also do not want to use that username in any sort of context on my channel but in 2019 i want to just start us off at the top and go down the rabbit hole of how we ended up at this point in relation to this document when it comes to how messy this has been with us waiting and being patient about getting a new nightmare in elm street project in 2019 we learned that the u.s rights reverted back to the Craven estate for Nightmare on Elm Street, and they were open to film and television project. Bloody Disgusting reported this. Then it went crickets, and we didn't truly hear anything more concrete until this year, thanks to One Take News. But I did tell you guys earlier this year, one of the rumors I have heard was a pitch for an updated take on Freddy's Revenge with a gloved arm and a new Kruger actor, while England and Heather would be asked to participate in some capacity, and that was from the at the time alleged bidding war, but in August, the bidding war was indeed confirmed. Now, before the bidding war and stuff like that, we were just hearing like, oh, well, Jason Blum, Blum House, they're interested in doing Nightmare on Elm Street. We've heard about Mike Flanagan and his pitch, which I still would love to hear Mike Flanagan's pitch. I still think Mike Flanagan would be one of the best people to bring on board to revive the IP, as I do with a lot of things, just because of how talented Mike Flanagan has proved himself to be in the horror genre we were hearing about how jason blum he was so confident he could get england to come back because he got ellen burston to come back granted after seeing what you did with burston i don't want you to bring any more legacy stars back but going into how we ended up getting concrete evidence or confirmation that the bidding war took place so this is from one take news big screen leaks i'm going over and recapping their article now we're reading a lot of what came from the article they put out this past august they said first and foremost we have been told that the west craven estate has the rights locked in which bloody disgusting first reported up until last year new line cinema was the only studio who would have any form of access to said rights one take news has heard from multiple sources that jason blum has been advocating to get the rights and has been trying to convince the craven estate for quite a while now Last year, per a report from Puck, it was revealed that New Line Cinema, who's released every film in the franchise, was negotiating to maintain the domestic rights to the franchise as well as develop future films. As of now, it's unknown what came of that. And then they go on to get into the rumors that came out earlier this year. There have been rumors of the Craven Estate finally giving in and that a bidding war secretly took place amongst the studios for the rights to Elm Street in the last month or two. We at One Take News have only heard of these rumors and haven't been able to corroborate it at the time of this writing. The rumor states Blumhouse won the rights and that they'd be developing a new film. It's also been known to us and many within the inner circles of studios that the Craven Estate has priced Elm Street rights obnoxiously high and won't budge, thus making it harder to come for a new film to be developed and making the rumor of a bidding war seem, seem less true then they chimed in to say that a source reached out to them and corroborated the rumor of a bidding war for the elm street occurring elm street rights occurring earlier this year uh they said that blumhouse is not developing a new elm street project and that the rights do not belong to them however we have heard whispers of new line regaining the rights but we have not confirmed this we reached out to new line for comment on the matter and we'll update this article if they respond now here's why i went through all of that look at this document here on your screen now if this document is legitimate at the bottom there see this is warner brothers discovery's upcoming release schedule for 2023 to 2025 and i'm going to address that really quick because i was starting to think that this is fake and it very much so could be fake but it also could be true and real if you look at the bottom of this page it has an in development section you have dead space swamp thing batman brave and bold then you have a nightmare on elm street so that's why i wanted to make this video because the reason i was skeptical at first was because at the stop at the top of the page it says 2023 through 2025 release schedule granted this could be a second page of a document that's what someone did point out to me when i tried to get clarification on this fact because i was thinking that it was fake which it again still could be 
But the fact that 2023 was left out indicated to me that the page was edited. But there's always the chance that this is just a second page. And that's why the page doesn't start with any 20 2023 release films because of the fact that it's the second page of the title 2023 to through 2025 release schedules and that's why it starts with 2024 because if you see here in the development most of the things that it has there these are things that i 100 percent were able to look up and see we're in development we know that these are films that are actually being released so are we going to actually get a new nightmare on elm street film from new line cinema did they indeed regain the rights and re or should i say retain the rights from that bidding war time will tell we don't know what of course iteration of the of the project it will be we don't know if it'll be a remake we don't know if it'll be a, be a reboot and i'm again at this point just hoping that this is true i just wanted to make a video about this document i thought it was interesting and if anything maybe this will draw attention to other people if you share the video and we can get confirmation on if this is fake or not but it looks like new line cinema warner brothers discovery might be developing a new nightmare on elm street project if it's true i would much more rather see a updated take on dream warriors like robert england has talked about in the past but that's just me let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and there's a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video